there. Now that Valentine's Day is coming up pretty soon, why don't you go ahead and give your loved one a very, very nice digital surprise? Wouldn't that be nice? Well, today we will be doing just that. We will be making a Valentine's Day card using Turtle in Python. So let's see how it turns out to be. loved ones. Alright, let's get started then. So now let's just look at only certain aspects of it because a maximum of these concepts I have gone through in the Christmas card. So if you want to really really understand in depth, so how about you just go and have a look at that video. I will probably give a link down there below in the description. Okay, so let's just have a quick run through. So here are a few important modules that you will need to import that is Pygame, Random and Turtle. Alright, Pygame will be only for the music, nothing else. And Turtle and Random, obviously we need that. So we go ahead with our very basic steps of creating the screen, setting up the height and width and also putting a background image. Now I will be providing all the background images and the balloons and the music along. So if you need the code and these uh, extra materials also kindly ping me on any of my social media net, um, ids i'll contact we we can go about that from there now what does tracer do this is basically for the balloon so you are setting the uh, updates off okay automatic updates will be off using the tracer so that it doesn't go keep on blinking non-stop okay it will basically keep on refreshing we don't want that and next we have to register Using turtle, we need to register the shape that we are using, that is balloons. And I have a list of various colors which I will be applying for the small hearts that we just saw. This area will be only for playing the music. We load it and play it. So you need to have Pygame pip installed, alright? Pip or Conda installed, wherever you are working on. And this, I am creating a new turtle just for writing the text and a new turtle for, uh, for the balloons, okay? Let's keep aside the balloons now. I'll come to the text. So what you do is you basically set the position where you want to write it and then give in your text. You can add in the name of your loved one. Let's say Happy Valentine's Day and then the name. You can modify and play around with it. No issue. And font is basically a tuple consisting of the style, the font size and the italic bold or anything of your choice. You can choose any font style you want from all the ones present in word okay go ahead and open microsoft word you will get any to cho and choose any style of your own now let's come to the hearts so the big heart and the, the two big hearts and the smaller hearts so what we do is we use the on screen click all right so the left click will give us big hearts and the right click will give us small hearts all right um, that's the key value left for one and right for three so what you do is you simply have to play around with the angles and the length of the hearts to make various sizes. So we have worked uh, pretty hard on getting the values right here. So I'll be providing it to you. No, no problem. So let's just have a very, very slight explanation of this. First, we tilt 
left a little bit and go forward for the slant line. Then we make 200 or around, okay, it was 320, right? So 320 small lines to make two curves and then go back down again, okay? If you want to go through it in detail, you could just give a run of it and you'll understand. It's very simple. And now let us come to the balloon part, which is really very important, right? So what we do is, as I said, we create a new turtle named Pen. And now we uh, have seen that the balloon needs to go from bottom to top. So we take two variables, y and dy for the height. Now dy will be basically the height being incremented very, very slowly. Okay, very little by little and hence dy. If you are familiar with a little higher level mathematics, you'll understand what I'm saying. We click the up arrow on your keyboard to make it go upwards, right? So I'll show you why have we created a new function, but let me tell you what we are doing out here. So as you can see, by 0 0.2 units, I am incrementing the position of the balloon. Now, remember the turtle pen that we took? How do you think we can go about that? What we are doing is after registering our image, okay, we register the shape. What we do is we make the shape of the turtle as the balloons, right? Brilliant idea. So what we do is the turtle is basically the balloon now. And however we want to position it, we keep on doing that. So you can make, make anything go left or right, up and down, anything of your sort. So you're basically making images move. You're animating it, right? Pretty wonderful. And while in an infinite loop, basically, what you try and do is you keep increment, incrementing the height by the dy value. And since you want it to go right from the bottom of your screen or window, right up to the top, you say mod 800, okay, mod equal to 800. You're basically uh, using the assignment operator and overwriting it. And now uh, I wanted to position it to the rightmost side of the screen. Hence, I said go to 320 comma y. And that's it. What do you say? Pen dot shape. And then you say pen dot stamp. And what does pen dot stamp mean? Basically, we are leaving an imprint of the balloons on the screen. All right. So we'll need to use it. And lastly, I say go to 320 y minus 800. Why? That is you need to take it higher up. Right. And that's it. Basically, repeat the same thing and keep updating it. And one more important thing is pen dot clear. And now pen dot clear is very important. Otherwise, you're going to get a completely dragged image of balloons after balloons. OK, and that's it. That's all you have to do to go ahead and impress your loved ones and go ahead and send this to whoever you love, your family, your friends, because after all, Valentine's Day is for those who you love, right? A very important day to showcase your love, not just on that day, but rather every single day of the year. So I wish you all the very best and bye bye. I hope you liked it.